Delicious peaches are one of the many things Georgia is renowned for. Fortunately, it isn't overly notorious for having high crime rates, because criminal activity in Georgia continues to be below the national average. Georgia generally has a 3.4 violent crime rate and a 23.8 property crime rate. Contra Riley, the national average one is 3.66, which is just somewhat higher than the crime rate in Georgia. While you may think that Atlanta would gain the top spot in Georgia, College Park actually beat out the capital city by quite a bit. Plus, many of the crimes in College Park are not solved, according to FBI data. While this town is smaller, you're much more likely to be involved in a violent crime here, than you are in the state's larger cities. Despite being substantially bigger than College Park, the FBI finds that Albany only has a somewhat lower crime rate. Since 2019, crime has considerably increased while the number of crimes that have been solved, has significantly decreased. As a result, fewer crimes are being solved while more are being committed. In this region, there are a lot of property crimes as well. In contrast to College Park, they are lower. While Mora has a somewhat lower violent crime rate at 4.2, the property crime rate is extremely high. In fact, it is much higher than the national average. Usually, we expect that property crimes are related to the poverty level, but that doesn't seem to be the case here, as this area doesn't have an extremely high poverty rate. Another small town in Georgia with high levels of violence and property crime, is Americus. Fortunately, crime rates are significantly declining here, and if things keep going in the right direction, we anticipate that this municipality will be removed from our list. Even still, violent crime rates remain higher than they are in the majority of places. Although Forest Park may be less dangerous than the cities we've studied thus far, it is still far from being completely secure. Instead, this neighborhood is more risky to visit and reside in due to the exceptionally high rates of both violent and property crime. Typically, this region is referred to as an Atlanta suburb. But in most areas, it falls short. The safety rating for public schools is relatively low, and they are not well known for being very good. Both housing and rent are pricey. typically referred to as an Atlanta suburb, Douglasville is a suburban community. Both violent and property crime rates are relatively high. A large portion of this, is probably caused by criminals migrating from Atlanta to this suburban neighborhood. Fortunately, despite the high crime rate in this location, homicide rates are quite low. Bainbridge is a place with a small population, unlike, the most of the places on this list. Although it is renowned for having a lot of parks and green space, the crime rate doesn't seem to have decreased significantly as a result. The area's public schools frequently receive good ratings, and most of the residents are families. Warner Robins, Georgia, is in many ways a good area for families to live. However, for a suburban neighborhood, the crime rate is rather high. Despite our efforts, we were unable to uncover many factors contributing to the high crime rate. Housing costs are reasonable, and public schools frequently perform slightly better than average. Additionally, the region is renowned for being highly diverse. By no means would I say that this Atlanta suburb is the worst to live in. 
But the crime rate, particularly the violent crime rate, remains unreasonably high. Assaults and burglaries are rather regular in this neighborhood. The neighborhood is renowned for its enormous diversity. Numerous stores and services are also accessible by walking, though you may not want to consider the crime rate. Because of its size, this neighborhood frequently has a small town atmosphere. So, if you're seeking a calmer pace of life, this small town might suit you. However, there is a slight issue in that the crime rate is higher than it is in most towns. Since the population is so small, it makes sense that there aren't many things to do here. However, housing is incredibly cheap, which is frequently a selling element for many buyers.